Hi everyone, Megan here, and I will be teaching the core section um, for our yoga fit today. Uh, so what we're going to start with is I'm going to show you what equipment that we need so that you can get everything. Um, so we will be using some type of a ball. It can be light. Um, it can also be a, a light weight, something like this. Um, probably nothing over three to five pounds. Uh, otherwise, just uh, something that's nice to hold, especially if you have any compromised grip. I like the softballs because we can just push into them with our hands. So something like that, some type of lightweight or, or some type of um, soup can is fine or a water bottle. Once again, this is also optional. We don't necessarily have to use weight, uh, but this is just if you want a little bit extra challenge or maybe you already have some type of strengthening routine and you want to add a little bit more in. And then the last thing I'm gonna suggest is some type of dowel uh, or a hockey stick or a broomstick, something that is wider than your shoulders in width and doesn't have to be anything fancy, it's just from home hardware, just some type of dowel. Okay, so these are the three uh, things that we're gonna need and yourself, we're gonna be doing some body weight work. So let's get started. Our first exercise for core and also targeting posture is going to be a reach to rotate. Okay, so we're gonna be using our spine. We're nice and warm from the breathing we just did. And we're gonna think of reaching and then rotating through the movement. So I want you to sit up nice and tall. If you have a backrest, but you have enough core strength to sit up tall and be away from the back, I highly recommend that. Or you can always place, oops, place something behind your back to help you get a little bit more height and more lift. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is make really big movements with our arms. So you're gonna take that one arm, you're gonna reach out and away, come on up, reach out and away, over a nice big arc as best as you can. And then you're gonna flip it and look to that side and then sweep a table clean and bring it as far over as you can to the other side. Okay, I know that's a lot, so let's do this again. So you're gonna do the other arm. So reach out and away, trying to create space with your body, up and over, reaching up and over, arcing over that head. And then we rotate and then back over, okay? Good, so if you have a chest strap on, you can always loosen it slightly. Um, if you need extra support, feel free to put your hand on like the rim of your chair or on the armrest while you reach up and over. If we're really tight and we don't have that spinal flexion that I'm showing, we can reach up and just take it up and just think of reaching to the ceiling instead of collapsing over, okay? So here we go, we're gonna do our full set. Reaching over, up, reach to the side, and rotate, look at the fingertips, swipe that table clean, and then back down, excellent. Other side, reach, there's no race. This should feel nice and gooey, nice yummy movement, no racing through it. Really focus on each part of this movement. It's, it's complex, right? We're combining a couple movements together. Okay, and again, reach. Up and over and rotate and swipe that table clean. Excellent. This is four. Up and over and rotate, swipe, good, and down. Swipe. Reminder that if you are going slower than me, that's okay. You can always do your own pace and pause the video when you need to. Because like I said, this isn't a race. We're working to your best tempo that works for you and your body. Eye to hand coordination, looking over, that's it. Sweep, awesome. We're gonna do four more here, everybody. Nice and reaching far, up and over. and sweep and down that's it two nice big arch feeling that side body stretch right along here rotate think of getting taller with every single one we have two more reach up and over 
That's it. Eye to hand. Look at those fingers. One more here, everybody. And reach up and over. And rotate and swipe that table clean. And awesome, good. Next one in the series, we're gonna do a hip hinge. So we're gonna get your dowel. Two ways to do this today. So if we are just starting out or we're not even sure what a hip hinge is, we are gonna take the dowel and push it right in front of our chest. Okay, so my elbows are slightly lifted. I'm pulling the dowel in front of my chest and I'm gonna turn sideways just so that everybody can see what I'm doing here. We're gonna be hinging from the waist. So from the hips, it's almost like we're gonna bow. The queen, she's sitting right over there. We're gonna bow to the queen. So nice bow, keeping the chest nice and long and wide in the collarbone, and then come right back up to center. And the important part with this is that I'm always pulling this dowel across my chest. I'm never letting this happen because now you can see my spine is rounded, right? So pull that chest up, bow to the queen across the room, and then come on up here, okay? If you have a chest strap on, you might wanna loosen it. Keep in mind, if you don't have a lot of core strength or we have compromised uh, postural muscles in our spine, we won't be able to get a very big tip. So you might just go to here and then we come back up, okay? Here we go. So nice and tall, getting that dowel right across and we're gonna tip, bow to that queen that's across the room and then come on up. Here we go, exhale. And up, good. Lift those elbows, Megan. <laughs> and good. And again. And up, nice. And up, that's it. And again. And again, tip. That's it, everybody. Just two more here tip, keep pulling that dowel across your chest, keep it tight, tip, and relax. Awesome. Putting the dowel aside, we have one more in our circuit that we're going to do. This is going to require either your weight uh, or just a ball or something light. Uh, I will demonstrate the first round with the ball. So think of sitting up nice and tall, abs engaged, belly button drawn in, all that breathing work we just did, this comes in here. We're gonna have a timer set and we're gonna have it set for 20 seconds. And we're gonna be pretending like there's a bunch of paint in this ball and we're gonna shake it. We're gonna shake up the paint for 20 seconds. Okay, and I'm not falling forward. So if I bring it too far and I come forward, we've brought the arms a little too far. So you have to be quick, bring it in before we fall forward. Okay, here we go. We're gonna be on the clock for 20 seconds getting ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Breath. You wanna be as quick as possible, but with really nice form, pushing those hands into that ball. That's it, staying tall. Power. You have five seconds left. Two and one, relax. Good, everybody. Okay, take a little break, get a little sip of water, and then we're gonna do that circuit of three again. So we have 10 reaches to rotate. We have 10 hip hinges, and then we're gonna do 20 seconds of paint shakers, okay? So starting back at the beginning, we have no equipment here. Getting ready in three, two, and one. I'm gonna start left. So we reach up and over, reach over the head, rotate, look at those fingertips, and then sweep that table clean, and then down, good. Other side, reach up and over, and rotate, good. Using those core muscles to do these rotations, and back to center, and again. Remember, you can use your bottom arm for stability if you want, feel free to lean on it, as long as we're pulling up out of that neck, Staying nice and long with your posture. So this right here, keep it nice and long. We're always growing and getting taller. We're never collapsing. And rotate, sweep, that's it. And again, 
This is five. Up and over, rotate, and sweep. Good, and again, rotate. And sweep that table clean. Awesome. This is eight, reach up and over. Get that armpit to the ceiling. And now look at those fingertips, sweep. Two more here, everybody. One, up and over, reach. And rotate and sweep. This will be our last one today. Reach up and over. And looking over, sweep and excellent. Good, grabbing your dowel. The other version of this, if you have a great hip hinge and this feels good, I'm gonna invite you to place it on your spine, on the upper cervical spine, okay? But if you're new or we just learned hip hinges five minutes ago, we're gonna be here. Here we go, bowing to the queen, she's across the room. Show off that necklace and then come on up. Good, think of that belly button drawing into the spine. That's it. And squeeze. And this is four. Excellent, this is five. And this is six. And seven, getting taller every time. Nice big bow, pulling that dowel across your chest. And last time here. And excellent, good. Okay, last thing. So once again, you can use ball or you can use a weight. If we're using the weight, you're just gonna hold it on the ends. Okay, here we go. Paint shakers, 20 seconds. Three, two, one, and we're off. Nice and quick, staying tall, not letting yourself fall forward. 20 seconds here, everybody. Really shake that ball. Get the paint sh all shaken up. Really pretty color. Keep going, getting taller for three, two, and time. Awesome. Good job, everybody. So that is the strength circuit of our core. Uh, so if you want a little more challenge, you can always go through this one more round. Otherwise, I'm going to take it back to Mary Jo. Thanks, guys.